World record holder, 86 metres and 66. He's won this European title twice. In Prague in 1978, Athens in 1982. Just making sure that the circle is absolutely clear. Such a technician. He set a new championship record of 82 metres and 90 in qualification and looked very easy indeed. is just short of 85 and the championship record has gone again the master of the event opens up with an almighty throw he has such well perfection in technique he rotates but straight across the circle and Sadiq sets a target that may be difficult to surpass for mere mortals 83 meters and 94 meters and 12 in that last throw. Now Litvinov is in contrast a very very fast thrower. You'll see the difference because in hammer throwing terms he's slight and that's only a relative term I would tell you. He's extremely powerful but the speed that he generates across the circle is something to be admired the hammer glove to protect the hand uh, against that metal handle and look at the photographers actually kneeling almost a meter in to that sector the former world record holder oh, he, he's caught that one well and he's going to the lead and it's over 85 and it's near 86 and the world record is 86 66 and the former world record holder poses his intent. Look at that for a throw. Litvinov, watch the speed. Fast right leg. Good control of the left leg. Leaves that hammer. Watching it. The four turns coming in now and the lift. And his response at the end of that throw, clear evidence that he was more than happy. 85 meters and 74. And only he and Yuri Sedik have ever thrown further. And it's a new European Championship record for the second time. And it really means the salvation at hand, doesn't it? When a man under 16 stone and uh, just on six feet can throw that far, it means that we're going to attract a lot of athletes in who are not 20 stone uh, giants. And that's what we have to do. So Sedik now 31 so many golds to his credit in Europeans and in Olympics but only the silver medal in the World Championships and he was behind Litvinov on that occasion he's behind him now and this is his second throw one of the world's great gentlemen I may say he's been to Britain several times and run uh, hammer clinics for our young up-and-coming hammer throwers the doyen of the event really and he's chasing a lead of 85 meters and 74 centimeters. Released kind of early, I thought. He got a lot of pull on it, but it was, uh, oh, it's over 85 meters, but it's not enough centimeters, I don't think. I thought he released a little early. I didn't think his feet were all the way around. I'm talking about a perfect technician. He just got the pull on it, and uh, he closes the gap, but I don't think it's enough. He says 85-28. What a competition brewing up. The third round and Yuri Sedik, the world record holder, is still in second place. 85 metres and 28 centimetres. And he's in second behind Sergei Litvinov, uh, his teammate, at 85 metres and 74. This is his third round throw then very fast and that looked good and it's very long it's over 85 but is it long enough 85 74 is the lead by the world champion Sergei Litvinov and the world record holder pressuring him look at the way he attacks at the front and he's quite pleased with that too as you can see 
I, it's going to be very close. And Sedik from the Ukraine has won so many titles. Has he thrown far enough to take the lead? He's not sure. Oh, he's just missed it. 85 metres and 46, so he's got 30 centimetres to find, but he has got three more rounds. In the fourth round, and uh, Sedik in second place with 85 metres and uh, 46 centimetres, trailing uh, Sergei Litvinov, the world champion. And Sedik is creeping forward. He started with 83.94, then 85.28, then 85.46. And uh, the engineer from the city of Nikopol in the Ukraine, who has so commanded this event in the European Championships. As I said early on today, he won the European title in 78 and 82 in such good form. really caught that one. Oh, and it's close to the world record. And Sedig already acknowledging what could be, and I say could be, a new world record. His record stands at 86 metres and 66, 284 feet 4. He set that earlier on this year. And has he risen once again to the challenge? Yes, he has. When his teammate Litvinov, who beat him in the World Championships in Helsinki in 83, went into the lead, said it came back, and there's the marker, there's the world record uh, marker, and it does look to be further. And said it, yes it is, it's a new world record, 86 metres and 74, and that's 284 feet 7. The third world record in these championships. What a marvellous performance, 86 metres and 74. And such talent, two Olympic titles, two European titles, and surely on his way to a third here. And Litvinov could hardly watch that. He watched it wing its way out, and then there was some doubt as it went alongside the other flag. And finally, when he got it, he gave him just a little thumbs up. And the new world record holder. He's been world record holder before, but Yuri Sedik back in, and his uh, morale must be absolutely high. Had the lead uh, snatched by Litvinov to come back. Took the lead and broke the world record. 86-74. Incredible translation, 284 feet 9. Here's his fifth round throw. He's relaxed, and it's long. It's gone pounding out again. And I think that's a new world record. Hola, Mr. Sedic putting on a demonstration. Soviet Union 1, 2 and 3, watch this. So beautifully relaxed, the master of his discipline. Attacks that with grace and speed. Lifts the hammer out. It's 86-68. It's six centimetres short, but he's got one more throw.